keeps rolling. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. So today's video is super exciting because my eyeshadow palette has officially launched. It is officially for sale right now. I have the link down below if you guys want to purchase it. And uh, I can't believe the day is here. I can't believe I'm saying this because I'm pre-filming this like two days early. So I'm saying it, but it's not true, but it is true whenever the video goes live. So I'm really, really excited about it. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Today, because my last two makeup tutorials I did with the palette was a little bit more intricate with the cut crease and then using multiple colors because I wanted to show you guys how to use all the colors and dip into all the colors of the palette during doing tutorials, that most of my comments on my last video was asking will my next tutorial with the palette be an everyday makeup tutorial so that way people can see how to use the palette day in and day out, maybe not so much whenever they want to do a fancy smancy look. So I thought what a great idea, you guys always have the best ideas, so here we are, I'm going to be filming just a natural everyday makeup tutorial um, even a makeup tutorial that I've done with the palette several times you can also wear this to school work whatever you got going on in your life this is a great neutral way to use the palette so I hope you guys are excited I'm super excited about it <laughs> without further ado let's uh, sing a little song shall we Be sure. And we'll go ahead and jump right into the video. That was a good tongue pop. Oh. These brows, I've been trying to grow them out as far as I've gotten and they've been growing out for like years. I envy people. I truly envy people who have long, big, bushy, beautiful eyebrows. I envy you. We're gonna do the eyes, which are not gonna be that difficult to do. It's gonna be super, Easy peasy lemon squeezy and also we're not going to be doing mascara today so that's, we are going to be doing mascara. <laughs> we're not going to be doing false lashes. <laughs> Hello. You guys are like, great, no mascara? Weird. First we are going to take Okie Dokie which is the cream bone shade and the palette is a matte shade and it is used in two different ways. I personally like to use it to soften up my eyeshadow primer. I have my MAC. I have my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre applied all over my eyes and I like to do this because it becomes a bit sticky and a little bit hard to blend out the other shades. So I like to put this powder on top because it sets the paint pot and it makes it way easier to blend the other colors that we're going to apply. So this color is great. If you is, if you can see it's kind of translucent, like it, it's not that bold, but if you build it up with a flat synthetic brush, it, you can get this bone shade on your lid. I've done it in my previous tutorial using it, but you're not really going to get much build building up of this color using any type of fluffy blending brush and more so just disperse the product like it did my hair right there. I'm going to take an M519 which is a little bit of a longer blender and I'm going to take the shade Bomb Diggity which is a great neutral brown color, a great transition shade and I'm just going to poke it in the outer corner like that and kind of go back and forth. I like to build up color on the outer corner mostly because I find that it makes the eyes give it given a like <sighs> effect if that makes any sense which is kind of just opens up the eyes a little bit and the more open that the eyes are I find that they look a little bit more awake um, and a little bit more fresh so I like to keep my bolder colors right there at the end. I just left the gym and literally I'm dead serious not being a wussy but holding up my arm blending is literally hurting so bad because my arms feel like jello right now so I'm like trying to blend but I'm like oh my god it hurts jeez I feel like a weakling I'm gonna take just a touch of cray cray this is a warmer orange undertone caramely brown shade and I'm just gonna add a bit of that to the tip of my brush cray cray is extremely pigmented so if you don't want it to if you don't want to apply too, too much of it, I would just go in with a lighter hand with it and do smaller motions with it. That way you're not dispersing the color like crazy, <laughs> like cray cray. And um, this can just deepen up the look. You actually can stop at Bomb Diggity if you want to. If you want to deepen it up just a little bit more, um, you can add a little cray cray in. These colors sit very well with one another and they build upon each other so nicely. 
Now I have enough color built up on my eyes. I just applied the two browns on the outer corner and I kind of left this area a little more clean because we're gonna add a shimmer which can really make our eyes pop and look like we put a lot of effort into look but it's super simple to do so. So scatterbrain's also really pretty <laughs> Scatterbrain's also a really pretty everyday option, but I've used it in some tutorials, so I really want to go into Redonculus, which is a little bit more of a bronzy color, but it's very wearable bronze. It's not too deep. So you can apply this with your finger, which is what I'm going to do. It is not wet, and it is extremely pigmented. It's almost metallic. It's so pigmented. I kind of stopped whenever we had a quarter of the eye left with the brown shade started. On a Morphe M326 brush, which is tiny, I'm gonna take some Scatterbrain. I am gonna dampen the color to enhance it. You can use water. Today I'm gonna use a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus Spray, which just really enhances shimmery pigments. And I'm gonna apply this on the inner corner. You won't believe how applying a color like this on the inner corner will truly open up the eye so much and just bring you back to life whenever you're feeling tired. I'm gonna also apply a little bit of this color to the brow bone, which yes, we still have to uh, we still have to draw on these eyebrows. Don't worry, I have not forgotten them. I know they are looking sparse. Because my lashes aren't that thick and I personally have always worn a little bit of liner my whole entire life, I'm just going to add a little bit of liner, not liner, excuse me, a little bit of dark eyeshadow. This is Oddball. It's a black shade and I'm going to take an angled brush and just get some on the tip of the brush right there. And then what I'm going to do is kind of keep it towards the outer corner. That way the look isn't too smoky. And honestly, this cuts down on time as well, not lining the whole eye. I need to get my mirror real close, honey, so I see what I'm doing. Okay, so what I like to do is just nudge it in that outer corner. I tug my eye. I don't recommend doing this. It's really bad for your skin, but... Do as I say, not as I do, okay? <laughs> Next up, I'm going to fill in the sparse areas with my brows. I'm gonna try not to fill them in as bold as I normally do. Um, that's more for like a glam look with false lashes. And I feel like sometimes whenever I make them too, too bold and don't put on false lashes, they're just overpowering. So I'm gonna try to just fill in the sparse areas. I use the shade number four in this pencil and I always like to comb them up to start. I feel like this brow is a little bold, but not as bold as I normally draw them in. Like I went in with a lighter hand when filling them in. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here and then we're gonna do some mascara. We have eyebrows. <laughs> Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. This is just a tweezer man eyelash curler. I'm gonna give them a good curl and then I think I'm gonna apply today the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. This has just been such a good mascara for so long. If you're looking for a drugstore option, I think this is somewhat similar and I like this a lot. So I'll probably mix in a bit of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Super good drugstore mascara. And of course my lashes want to play games and now they want to go straight again. So once they're dry, I'm going to hit it one more time with a curl. <sighs> the ongoing struggle that I deal with with lashes, guys, you just don't know. <sighs> this is why I'm addicted to false lashes because my real lashes don't do much for me. If you have great real lashes, don't you ever put a false lashes on and take in your life, okay? Primer today, I'm going to... Oh my. For primer today, I'm gonna to be using the Velvet Blurring Primer. So this is, you have to shake it well. And it's a primer by Becca. I think it's a newer one. I just recently got it. And it looks peachy, kind of like this. And I just like to apply it right here. It is super blurring, so it doesn't help with acne or big pores, but it does help to fill them in and to give it a soften blur effect. Um, I do have this stupid thing in my forehead and that is because I like to pick any little bump or zit that I get I'm just like I create more I create a problem that isn't there like it was a tiny bump and then I picked it to death and now it's like this huge monstrosity today for foundation I'm going to be using one of my favorite everyday foundation and this is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless I'm in shade 220 I've liked this foundation for so long it just hasn't steered me wrong so I'm gonna keep using her such a good everyday foundation I'm going to take a fresh Y6 brush from Morphe and start to blend this product out. I, oh my god, there's powder on this. 
Oh my God, no, I can't use this. So we're gonna take the Y7, which is the one that's a little more rounded. This is just sinful. But this brush actually isn't clean and Manny was using it to put white liquid lipstick all over his face and there's white liquid lipstick on it right now and we almost just had a huge accident on my face. Not good. If you can see, I avoided the under eye area a little bit and that's because I'm going to apply a concealer. Sometimes whenever you take your foundation all the way up to the top of the under eye and put a thick concealer or a bunch of concealer on top of it, it becomes a lot of makeup and you can get a little creasy. So I try to avoid the under eye sometimes, but whenever I'm going to apply a lot of concealer because I don't want it to get creasy. So today I'm going to be using the NARS Creamy Radiant. I've just been on such a kick with this concealer. I use it every single day. I'm just going to take the same brush and blend it on out by doing stippling motions. I prefer to blend back and forth, back and forth. I find that it helps get in every little crevice on the under eye. Ooh, girl. Blend it, honey. Whenever you put down a cream product, I just highly recommend no matter what you set it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of loose translucent setting powder on the concealer. And this is gonna lock it in place and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And it'll also make it last so much longer throughout the day. To bronze on my skin, I love using the Hula Bronzer. It's a great bronzing shade. And I'm gonna use the E53 brush. You can contour if you want to, but I really just like to take the bronzer kind of around like this and warm up my face a little bit. Because I feel like after I put on all the powder and concealer, my face is just looking so dead and it needs some, it needs a little bit of bronzing, bringing back to life some color. I love bronzing my forehead right here. Just hit it around the temples and kind of push it into the hairline and then I'll bring it on around. I'm gonna take one of my favorite blushes that I just can't quit using. This is a pe Peach Primrose. I think I called it Peach Promise. I have selective reading in one of my favorites videos. So it's Peach Primrose by Flower Beauty. And someone asked me, is this sold at Target? I have not seen this at Target whatsoever, so I don't think so. I think it's only at Walmart. I love the peachy glow. For highlight today, I'm going to take Bali by Oprah. If you can see, it is gold, but it has, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it has like a pink to it. It's very pretty. And I'm going to take my R36 brush, wherever it might be hiding. Here she is. And I'm just going to hit it. Hit it on those cheekbones, honey. Ugh, so pretty. I'm gonna mix together the two brown shades next. And we're gonna sweep these on the under eye. Kinda hit them, connect them right there at the corner of the outer corner right there. And if you connect these colors, it can give you a really pretty put together smoky kind of look, but without much effort at all. I'm now going to go back in with Oddball, which is the black color, and just right there on this outer corner right here, connect that corner and just bring it in a quarter of the way, really close to those lower lashes. Next, I'm going to take a nude liner. This one is from Pretty Vulgar. I'm going to pop it right into my water lines. I find that nude liners just make your eye look so big, round, open, and fresh. They do so much for your eye. If I do a really dark, sultry look, I typically stick with a black liner, but whenever I want a daytime or a lighter look, nude is where it's at. I'm going to add some of the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal to my lower lashes. I love mascara on the lower lashes and spider, like spidery look. I think it looks so pretty. I just burned my arm hair off. There's a candle sitting way too close to me. Why is everything going? so crazy in this video. Oh wait, that's every video. <laughs> For my lips, I'm gonna line my lips with Strip Down by MAC. This is just a lip pencil. It's a really pretty brown neutral. And next I'm gonna take Version, Version 
Virgin from Morphe. This is one of their liquid lipsticks. I'm just going to apply it into the center of the lips. If you can see, I've already lined my lips in the outer corners of it with the brown shade. So applying a color like this in the center really helps to make the lips look a little bit plumper. Lastly, I'm going to set all of my makeup. And that is it for this look, guys. It's such an easy, simple look to do. Don't forget, Cast Pajamas is now for sale! <laughs> that was really annoying. At lauraleelosangeles.com. And I'll have everything that I used in this tutorial linked down below in my description box. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Baby, that's all we need. Alright, we're done with this toot, on to the next thing.